everyone. I'm Cheryl with Cheryl Ho Fitness and Kaizen Physique. I want to welcome you to at home circuit workout number two with Cheryl. For this workout, we'll use some light weights. So if you have any dumbbells available, we'll be using this. And if you don't, it's okay because I, you can use something that, that you can find inside your house. So you can grab two cans. Make, just make sure they're the same size. Um, or you can use two water bottles. Or if you want to get real creative, I have here two bags of rice. So you can use this too as well. And also, if you have not warmed up, please warm up before proceeding. So go ahead and hit pause and go and find your either light dumbbells or just something in your house that you can use. And then also warm up if you have not warmed up yet. And then come back and join me. Okay, today we're going to be doing a circuit of five exercises. You're going to repeat the circuit one to two times depending on your level. And I really want you guys to go at your own pace and to stop if you feel any discomfort. Um, and please, please listen to your body. The first exercise we're going to do today is going to be um, a sumo squat. So let's get set up here. And what I'm going to have you do is stand with your feet slightly wider than your hip, than hip width. And your toes are at a 45 degree angle here. And then you're going to hold your core in tight. Your chest is going to go slightly forward as you, as you bring yourself down into the squat. And I also want you to push your, your, um, your glutes back. So we'll go down. And I want you to go down until you are, your thighs are this parallel to the ground. Make sure to keep your heels to the floor. You're going to push up through your heels to rise. Let me do this to the side here. <clears throat> okay, that's two, three, four. You're going to give me ten. Three more. Two. And last one. And hold it just for a second here. Good job. Go ahead and shake it out. Our next exercise, we're going to go ahead and grab your light dumbbells. Or for this one, I'm going to use the two water bottles. And I want you to have your stance. Um, hip width apart, and we're going to be doing some upper body work here, where I'm going to have you press up, and then press out. Press up, and press out. So here we go. One, two, last one. Very good. Next we're going to come on down to our mats and we're going to do some glute bridges. So come on down. Now the closer your heels are to your glutes it, it becomes more challenging. So you can adjust by going out further or coming closer here. You're going to keep that core tight, and what you're going to do is lift up to your bridge, and hold, and down. We're going to do 10 of these. One, and squeeze at the top, holding your core. Two, three, five, six, 
Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three more. One. Two. And three. Hold it up there. Good job. Okay, next we're going to turn over and we're going to do our, our push-ups. If you can do a full push-up, go ahead and do the full push-up. Otherwise, I will demonstrate in the, as, as a push-up assist. So you're on your knees. You'll come down forward. And make sure that you push your weight over your shoulders here, over your hands. And you're slightly shoulder-width apart. And I want you to look forward at something in front of you. And hold that core tight. We're going to come down. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Very good. Last, this is what we do for all our circuits is we're going to end in the plank. Again, we're going to try for 30 seconds. I will count it out at the 10 separate second interval intervals. So your goal is 30 seconds. So let's get into our plank position. Come down to your elbows. Shift your weight forward. Remember to shift your weight forward. And tighten up your glutes and your core. And here we go. Looking ahead. Keeping everything tight, keep your eyes um, looking forward. That's 10. We're at 20 seconds. Hold on. Let's get to 30. Almost there. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Perfect. Good job. This is the end of the, of the circuit. And what I want you to do is repeat this one to two more times. And remember to go at your own pace. When you're done, be sure to stretch and use a foam roller. Thank you for working out with me. Until next time, stay safe and healthy. My love and aloha to all of you.